yeah hey guys so today i will uh, discuss uh, all the concepts and all of the codes and the project file how it is going to work and how i wrote it what was the concept behind it and this video of movie ticket booking software previously you have uh, watched uh, the demo of it now we will discuss it thoroughly so for it you will require the crystal patch report as earlier and for uh, installing the crystal patch report you will need to install visual studio 2010 because it was a patch of 2010 and just you need ms access okay so this is the project file which will be getting uh, which you will be getting in uh, the link below below in description or in github repository or dropbox whatever it is so you have to uh, first install the ms access then visual studio 10 then in this copy this folder uh, in documents visual studio 2010 projects here so i have already pasted it and uh, you have to just run the sln file from here so it will get open okay now click on uh, you can create new project also this is the console project and uh, whatever pro project you want to open but uh, we will just go and run the project so this is our project live so uh, for now let's just clear all booking clear all movies so this is the clean interface okay so as of now you have you know how the uh, software works in previous video now we will go just uh, by uh, code by code just a quick demo mm, I think auditorium is already designed here yeah. So in last case, what happened is uh, tutorial three didn't work. No, it's working. Mm, one didn't work. It's working. Okay. So let's just create any movies poster. In last video, I didn't, uh, I didn't explain how to do it. it's not working anymore oh, okay add movies create shows okay show has been created click book print okay a1 a2 uh, a1 a2 there should be more C1, D1 Only 3 tickets C1, C2, D1 It should be more D3, D3, E3, okay, we have to, this, this, A3, B3, D3, E3, okay, the last one is E3, yes, okay, so, Okay, we will go code by code for now. Let's just stop it. The project stopped. The main window, this one. Okay, so.
before it uh, also I think this one goes here so we will start from here also <laughs> so this is the combo box adding the uh, adding up the combo box which is uh, here and the values of the combo box and lastly by just adding height hmm. Mm, what is this? Uh, this is just uh, clear all controls and initializing again. And there is a display function. We will discuss this later. Please select the day. If you haven't selected day, then it will ask you. And it's just uh, checking conditions. Okay. What is this? Create policy design. This is. This is just uh, this uh, menu, menu design, and the sub menu after it. Create step menu, select it, select change index. Uh, what happens if uh, I click on the drag menu and uh, event? If if I change the uh, list, what happens? Then this this is the code of here, and this is display. So this display is. Uh, uh this is uh, i guess uh, uh connection string and adapter data set data return data command so da2 uh, we are just using the con variable con variable is uh, just a sec okay we have uh, initialized con variable means uh, connection string earlier display yeah so with uh, data adapter firing any um, uh, firing any query and you with the uh, connection string all the data will be uh, in this variable and then converting into data set and this we can get by this data set variable and item 0 and the data i need movie id and what is this nothing hmm. the main code is program here what we see that uh, uh, when the picture box come means when any uh, movie poster come yes it was just a picture box and it all comes dynamically here when af uh, after every event we uh, uh, after every event when we uh, uh, create any movies it uh, goes into the database database is here debug resource folder this is database administrator movie table so when you create movies it uh, get movie name here and whatever enter it is so it reads here every time dynamically and uh, whatever the movie name or, or how many number of movie it is it is so according to that it and the movie posters also means it just uh, saves the path of any pictures as a movie posters in the database and according to it it will print uh, if there are four movies then it will print four posters according to it then it have to print uh, just below it a movie name and so this programming is just here and after it uh, we have to uh, print the show timing buttons also and the button label should be the show timing labels also so and it should be just uh, it should be printed just uh, consecutively one after other and every show timing uh, movie show timing must uh, print just uh, below the picture so it's sh uh, it's all cal mathematical calculation and uh, it should be exact top and left so it all has here this programming okay the tax insertion nothing new nothing new okay so nothing here after that let's suppose uh, that uh, we have uh, create um, we will go from here to create auditorium if we uh, go to create auditorium that means it will uh, go to create audi show dialog box means this one so it will jump to this audi we will also jump here 
so this will uh, open this is the data grid structure and there are buttons so in add new uh, it, uh, same the data uh, we will connect to the con open the con open is uh, uh, the uh, function in module just we are using for connecting to the database and we have the connection string uh, reading uh, how many auditorium so what happens is here is a the data grid structure which we have seen in demo so it uh, reads the auditorium da data so it reads every data here and it's print as it is in this grid so this is just a programming of it how to read and how to print the select auditorium data and uh, transfer the data into greater grid view data store source okay just and uh, if we uh, make any change then it will ins uh, insert query also fall for it okay new auditorium created okay and there should be any update query also form load so it is uh, mm, yeah as i have said uh, when the window will load it will read our data from database and it will load here hmm. okay 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 label to button three click uh, which button it is huh, it is update button query so all the same like below uh, above data grid view same and it will update this this is important if uh, what happens if uh, we have to change uh, any content just by clicking on the data grid so we will click on the data and we have to fetch whatever it is the row or column of that data so data grid uh, cell mouse click event select data there are many types of um, reading techniques from database which I have uh, given the code in the vb.net also text move it you the thing this file I will be sharing the data in this file huh. all the handy codes so pairing any database this is the data adapter and uh, how to use it and uh, this is uh, there are two types of uh, data reading techniques synchronous and asynchronous so uh, if we need uh, bulk of data so we we will need uh, we will read all the data from the database and we will uh, keep an instance for handy use and an inline instance for our use but uh, if we need uh, very frequently data so we can't read uh, whole database uh, every time so we will have a synchronous connection with database and we will just read one by one one by one so what uh, in data set in this method we will uh, we read all the database in one time and in this method we just uh, ping that query and that database specific data and uh, dig it out for our use and uh, this query just for firing up data there is no return for it means uh, delete and update or uh, means we don't get anything in return it just uh, query one time query one way query okay mm. Uh, what is it is update delete this is a delete delete function and how to delete it in here uh, uh, current cell row index means uh, we have to track in the uh, data grid which uh, cell we have made changes the event should be there that uh, this uh, cell has been changed the value has been changed so we have to track it the current cell and row index in data grid uh, and that item should be in reflected in database and update and should uh, variable should be updated in database okay nothing much here main window main window 
design create policy we will discuss later design auditorium so design auditorium where it is design 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 auditorium design you can go view designer this is okay we will go one by one this is also one big grid here and uh, we'll start by load so it get the gif of uh, uh, from picture box all the rows and columns should be clear in loading event and select the uh, it, uh, this is uh, the dynamic uh, creation of auditorium when we see that if we create the three auditoriums if we uh, have an entry of three auditorium in database so three buttons uh, uh, get created in here dynamic code so first we have to get the data of the auditorium from the database it, uh, we can get it from here then three buttons and all its property should set according to it and it's a okay a mathematical calculation that one button should have this width and next button will start from a gap and after that width okay and after it uh, just add the controls hmm. nothing nothing there is an exception also if no auditorium created then what should happen button should be created or not so nothing just close it okay uh, and if no auditorium created the design auditorium form should not uh, uh, not at all open also so me dot close okay 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 nothing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is unavailable hmm. so <laughs> they uh, i have used many properties here uh, when the data grade data grid is filled up uh, what happened there is if i click on the first auditorium button then according to that auditorium and uh, the data grid field read from auditorium or uh, audi input table so if the audio audi info audi id is one so whatever uh, seat uh, sh uh, will be here and it's uh, according to status at first uh, it all will be av av unavailable but uh, if we book it will be unavailable uh, if we um, if we select as a staircase uh, area then it will be unavailable and then at all if we book anything the booking history is not here the bo booking is here that uh, this much of data we have uh, this much of seats id we have used for booking so we come to here we were in code black image the black uh, this fun uh, this uh, pro block of programming uh, uh, is for this when we select something here and we uh, select some cells and we c create staircase so whatever it is it come to here and uh, get calculated that which uh, cells are calculated from i to j whatever it is and uh, um, it uh, fill it up with the black image means it is unavailable for booking for now and uh, setting up the tag value and back color color white whatever it is and the say uh, message the selected city is seats are already unavailable by clicking clear all the row column will set to i think uh, white uh, green image that all are available and white background and uh, this is the policy filter we, uh, we can fill policy from here if uh, we click on the drag and button and fill policy that uh, that policy id will be in current policy id and this is the save button means all the changes we have made will be committed to database this is so it uh, when we click it it will read all the data grid and uh, the row co row and column and all cell values and uh, collecting into variables row columns it is if it is un unavailable then uh, update the database according to it it is 
available then uh, uh, update that row of that column according to it whatever it whatever changes uh, the user have been made and update 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 all types of updates we are doing in the back end here auditorium audi available unavailable whatever it is some are unavailable available okay <coughs> button 3 uh, what is uh, button 3 i think black image nothing green image clear auditorium nothing 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 we have discussed it we have discussed it let's okay okay we are done right now so after this we will see the booking window booking window it even this also have the grid structure and uh, with the booking window it reads that uh, whatever it is uh, with uh, the red area and available uh, and whatever it is uh, red area and it collects it all the values in variables and after it it uh, commits the data that's uh, too much of code because it have to perform uh, long computation it is a grid structure there are many rows it is unavailable or not there are many cases we have to resolve so that so that's why this is too much of code mm, okay and at last it insert the data in booking entry booking entry here booking table if or if it passes all the condition if it not passes it will throw some of some kind some kind of message that this is not uh, filled this is not there uh, okay so for creating this project i may i have to to uh, 2.5 months but for testing and covering up all the test cases and uh, there should be no uh, case from which the error should come any exception uh, I caught two months of testing so total it took me 4.5 months for creating the complete project okay nothing here mm, nothing nothing I just read all the data from the grid and according to it make changes in the database then after print tickets this is something new uh, print report so it uh, for um, it will fire this form it will show up and uh, it uh, actually create uh, two variables one is book one and uh, uh, one is uh, book two so it compares uh, if the booking entries in the booking table are uh, uh, before booking and after booking uh, the uh, number of rows in booking table if are same that means if uh, we haven't done any booking but uh, so it will uh, throw a message box that please book any and one book or more than one tickets but if the variable values are different then it will uh, uh, then it will send uh, those variables to that form frm report so here we are two variables having the count of uh, just having the uh, we are using these two variables just to identify that uh, we have booked some tickets so this is the method by which we can set the uh, by which we can transfer this variable to the report special report okay data source connection resource okay nothing new this is the crystal report uh, object rpt so just uh, if all thing goes wrong any crystal report that doesn't there the report could not be created and the message will appear so we will go we have two parameters book one and book two and we will go to the crystal report
which print tickets actually so here we are uh, okay this is the uh, ticket uh, um, ticket scenario i have designed it also like it should be like pvr or whatever it is so this is the um, variable which will reflect and which will change this will remain static and for uh, changing it and uh, we have uh, we have commands database expert commands edit or uh, view commands anything view why it is asking me password just a sec it shouldn't ask me my password if the project is uh, located in the visual studio and then project in project folder then the crystal report shouldn't ask password why it is asking password I think I have messed up some my uh, database file here. It should not. Okay. now we are getting it okay so this is a view command edit command so we are here we will write the query and we will use these two parameters as this and if we select the policy rate the uh, uh, ODE policy whatever the uh, value of this uh, variable it is it will be reflected here it will be reflected here suppose the booking id so which has the booking id i yes, select x trip everything no, what a movie name so this movie name movie name so by using that to book one bo and book two parameter what it uh, do is the book uh, if uh, if we haven't uh, booked any ticket then the value of the bo both book one and book two uh, parameter will be the same come to this book one, book one table so this is it. so at first the book one and book two parameter uh, both variable will have the value of this but if uh, we have booked this much of ticket then book one will stay here and book two will be 11 so from book 1 to book 2 we have to print tickets so that's why this uh, book 1 book variable are, uh, are in use so and we will fire the query 
and the query will uh, return some kind of data in uh, movie name and the uh, variable is situated here so after it it will print print ticket so this part of uh, printing ticket changes here okay and then what's left is uh, i think main window we'll go to main window i think create policies create policies so create policy 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 create policy so i uh, as i mentioned in the conf uh, demo video that we can create any number of uh, policies it just uh, take the names from this uh, box and add policies and insert 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 <laughs> into the d database so there are multiple and many types of uh, queries so it all fire in one insert and okay, every policies have the different uh, every policy is different for the different days and every policies have different rate in different days so that's why yeah this, there are so many of query are firing in this policies and in the same it all has same concept which we have seen earlier select select count policy id if you have if you can understand the uh, design form then you can easily understand it it's not a big deal it's just looking too much okay classroom classroom auditorium form report guide is simple just uh, screenshots here one to it's a simple for loop and it changes the png from uh, picture box are there and it just changes the path of picture box mm, main window design auditorium we have covered update movies tax instruction update movies show dialog anything which we haven't covered yet C combo box selected as global yeah we can use the global variable also and between the different uh, uh, forms we have to declare it here show id or whatever it is and we can use it earlier and if we want to just use directly some forms uh, variable we have to name the form and dot whatever it is global variable okay selected item me dot clear here yeah, we know what it is hmm. Hmm. this is auditorium number whatever it is the auditorium number it will be reflected it will read from the database from here auditorium whatever number of rows and then according to it uh, the drop down will have the values and uh, if we select one then according to th that this all data will reflect uh, it will read if auditorium one then what movie it is having and if it is not having it will show blank so all that uh, the program it is in load button i think i guess at least one or two whatever it is okay and if the uh, none movie are there then it will in all the boxes which are there it will be disabled if uh, we add movie then it will be get enabled that's why here it is the true 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 unless it will be false all okay mm, nothing new here connection string connection string i have used a module also which we can discuss but we can just Uh, this is the time function uh, wh what happens is uh, it returns the time as uh, mm, 
if 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 we give the time in minutes and hours then it uh, it returns the time uh, totals in this uh, order and there is a minute function also if uh, we give the time as a 22 colon 60 so it uh, converts all the time into minutes and uh, how many minutes are there in that interval so it, uh, that's why this function is for and uh, picture box nothing there I have created this project I think four years back so now I'm just uh, rehearsing it again mm, movie information updated mm -hmm. I think you can go through it it's simple no big logic i think tags insert it's simple any number of tags you can insert and in add you will be having the insert uh, query to the database tags info insert you can add mm, nothing okay crystal report i have covered module i will cover now and tags for done movie done create policy done create auditorium booking window auditorium done okay and uh, movie creation okay module so here when i uh, successfully created my project in uh, visual studio what happens that all the project were uh, um, will stay in this project file but i wanted to have a setup mm, like all the microsoft product have one setup uh, which we will click uh, and uh, it will get install all the files in C drive binary but uh, if we do the VB programming we just uh, give the this file to, any to anyone who wants to run that setup or ec.exe which, which is in debug folder but I wanted something different I just wanted that uh, I should uh, if if I give this exe to someone debug debug so it uses some path of my database and in the path of the data database the username should be Saranj and if I give it to someone then the user will be different and the username or, or the environment variable have the dis different name let's suppose I am giving to Vikram so that uh, user name will be different so I wanted to make it generalized that uh, uh, when we click on the setup it should uh, create all the libraries or all the files in one place so that's why I created this module hmm. here it checks the whatever data connection is all known it is the simple function in if any uh, data connection is uh, not okay means it uh, if it will be not okay if it didn't find any database file if you are running exe from anywhere and the path is not have uh, the default path is not uh, reading the database file so it will throw an error and after uh, when we catch the error we get the message that your MSSA database file is mis mis misplaced means uh, your resource for it can't find the resource folder so uh, application startup path uh, set path and the show dialog box so it uh, my computer file system or uh, dialog box appear to uh, reallocate the resource folder any resource folder I have all the files uh, which we need for this project so it asks for the resource folder and uh, if uh, we give the path to the resource folder it copies from that path and it copies that folder to the temporary temporary files uh, path where the project exe has been installed and after that it restart the applications so in that case I will just uh, I am able to get uh, just this movie ticket booking just this uh, folder to anyone it uh, whatever username it is he or she will be able to run just by clicking on this exe and or allocate this resource so and it is more generalized way okay I think I have covered everything not in very very much detail but uh, if you know some somewhat of vb.net programming then you can understand it because uh, the code will be public 
in github repository or uh, dropbox or google drive and you can understand it i have just given a brief introduction of what my project is and how it is works if you want to, to see how it works you should see the demo video again okay thank you this is saransh and uh, this is my project movie ticket booking software thanks